Now today I want to talk about options, stock options, uh, and why options are important, uh, but I really want to explain to you what options are, uh, that way if it comes up throughout the course of your investing life, uh, or if it comes up in your uh, compensation negotiations or something of the like, then you know what you're talking about uh, and you know how to deal with these particular financial instruments. So options are really, really simple uh, at their baseline. They can get as complex as you want to make them uh, when you know used in groups uh, or used in different situations. But uh, options in general are very, very simple and especially options on shares of stock. Okay, so let's just start there. What is an option? Well, an option is exactly what it sounds like. It gives you the option to do something uh, with a particular financial security. And we're going to focus uh, mainly on stocks, right? Uh, it gives you an option to do something with a share of stock or with multiple shares of stock. And there are really two basic types of options uh, that we talk about. And those two basic types are call options and put options. And call options uh, at their baseline, they give you the option or the right to buy a share of stock or uh, multiple shares of stock at a given price. They give you the right to buy, okay? So basically what you do is you purchase this option. The option has some cost or premium. Uh, you purchase this option and when you purchase the option, it gives you the right to purchase shares of a particular stock uh, by a given time, right? Options have maturity dates. It gives you the right to buy at a given what they call strike price uh, by a particular time, okay? So in its simplest form, right? Let's say that there's a stock trading uh, at $100 a share and you buy a call option on that stock with a strike price of $110 a share uh, with a maturity date of three months from now. Okay, so I know I'm throwing a lot on you here, but uh, just try to track with me and it will make a lot of sense. So uh, trading for 100 now, uh, 110 is the strike price on your option. You have the right to buy at 110 and the maturity date is three months from today. And so you pay some premium today. You, you pay something in order to get that option, that right to buy. So you pay for that option. And then if the price of the stock, which is currently 100, exceeds 110, right, which is the strike price, is the price at which you have the right to buy at, right? If it exceeds that price, then you are what we call in the money. And the reason that you are in the money uh, is because Let's say the stock increases to 115 a share and it was trading for 100, but you have the right to buy at 110 and it's currently trading for 115. Then that means you can immediately buy at 110 because you have the right to do so based on your option and then turn around and immediately sell the shares for 115 at a profit. So you are in the money. But at $100 a share, when the shares were trading for only 100, you were what we call out of the money because uh, you could not have profitably exercise that option. You couldn't have profitably used that option in order to uh, get shares for less than what they're currently worth. And that's basically the, the whole idea of a call option. You want to uh, have these options, these rights to buy, and you want uh, the right to buy at a lower price than what the stock is currently uh, trading for. Now, obviously it is going to be more expensive uh, to get the right to buy once the price has already exceeded the strike price, right? So typically what happens uh, is you will buy it in the situation like I just outlined, uh, where the current price is less than the strike price and you let that current price exceed past the strike price and then uh, you may exercise it sometime in the future in order to have shares of that stock at a cheaper price than what they were currently trading at. And the benefit of doing this is that you can end up uh, having exposure to stocks cheaper than actually just going through and buying the shares, right? You can uh, try to get the upside potential of the call option uh, by you know letting it ride and seeing if the stock will increase over uh, the value of the strike price. And if it does, then you can buy the shares and you can benefit. If it does not, then you're only out uh, the cost, the premium of the option, uh, and you're not out uh, the whole price of the share and whatever uh, you're able to sell the share for in the future. So that is a call option, okay? And I said there's two types, call options and 
put options. Well, put options are just the opposite. Put options give you the right or the option to sell a share of stock or sell some financial security. But again, we're gonna focus on shares of stock. Uh, you can sell some financial security uh, for more than what it is currently trading for in the market. So again, I will work through this as an example. So let's say again that a stock is trading at 100, okay? And you think that this stock is going to go down in value and you're holding the stock and maybe you don't just think it's gonna go down in value, but you want uh, some protection to the downside, right? You wanna protect uh, your principles. You don't want to uh, just ride the stock down as it goes down. So what you may do, you may buy a put option, right? Or the right to sell a share of stock or multiple shares of stock. And you may buy a put option with a strike price of let's say 90, right? So that's you saying, I don't want the price of my shares to go below 90. And so you may buy that with a strike price, right? Again, you pay a premium to receive this option. You pay a price in order to have the option to do this, okay? And then if the price goes below 90, you are in the money, right? Because then you can sell the shares for 90 when maybe it's trading for, let's say 82, right? You can sell the shares for 90 and you can make uh, more than what somebody who sold in the market at 82 could make. So you're in the money there and you're out of the money when the price is above the strike price with the put option. So this gives you downside protection and or uh, it is a bet on the price of something going down and you being able to profit on the price of something going down. Again, uh, this allows you to have that type of exposure uh, without doing like a full short of shares. And we've talked a bit about shorting before and I'm not gonna get too much into that, uh, but it's going to allow you to have exposure to betting on the downside of something uh, without having to short something, without having to go all in with the full price. So um, that is a benefit of a put option. Uh, and these are the two types, calls and puts. 